so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Hey, it's me, Blippi! And look at where I'm at! Today, I'm at Pet Zoo in Cochia, Brazil. Wow, this place is awesome because they have so many cute animals that you actually get a pet. Maybe that's why they call it Pet Zoo. And today, you and I, we're gonna learn how to take care of animals. Are you ready? All right, let's go! <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? These two horses were scratching each other. Wait a second, they don't look like horses, do they? They do look like horses, but way smaller. Oh yeah, you're a pony, right? Yeah, these two ponies are actually sisters. Hey, you two are so cute, and they are so soft. Look at this one. This one is white, and this one is brown. Oh, do you two like me? Because I sure do like you. Oh, whoa, check it out. Whoa, carrots. Interesting. <laughs> do you like carrots? I do too. And I heard that these ponies love carrots. Shall we see if they're hungry? Oh, here you go. Whoa, are you hungry? Oh, whoa, they are hungry. Whoa, I guess ponies love carrots. Can you think of any other animal that loves carrots? Yeah, maybe one that likes to hop? Yeah, bunnies love carrots. Here you go, here's some more. Oh, they are so nice to each other. I wonder if they like to play with each other. They definitely know how to scratch each other's backs. <laughs> here you go. Oh. <laughs> All right, here you go. Oh, and did you see this one? Yeah, look right here. Okay, let me turn it side right here. And do you see its hair? Yeah, it's mane. Whoa, it's braided. Whoa, it's so cute. Oh, you don't have braided hair, but that's okay. Oh, you want food? Okay, here you go. <laughs> All right, well, let me set this right here and maybe I'll see you later. But if not, have a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Whoa, check it out. It's so pretty right here. Wait a second, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yeah, photo shoot. <laughs> yeah, this place is awesome. Let's keep exploring. I think I see some more animals, come on. <laughs> Hello! Whoa! This is a llama! Hey, are you hungry? Because I think I see some food. Come on, come over here. Check it out! Yeah, a big white bucket of llama food! Whoa! Here you come. Here, you can come right over here. Whoa! Llamas are so cool! <laughs> yeah, they actually. Whoa! <laughs> Okay, patience. <laughs> okay, here you go. Do you see their food? Yeah, they love this stuff. It's so tasty. I'll hold out my hand nice and flat. Whoa, can you see its teeth? Here you go. Whoa, they're so crooked. <laughs> That's okay. Here you go. Is anyone else hungry? Oh, it looks like you have some friends. They don't look as hungry as you. Here you go. Wow, do you see this llama's ears? Very big ears. I bet it can hear very well. Oh, and did you know llamas can spit? But llamas actually do it in defense. Yeah, it's a defense mechanism. Yeah, if they ever get scared or anything like that, they can spit. Whoa, you are so cool. Whoa, and you're so soft. Whoa, that was so much fun. All right, have a good day. Well, shall I keep exploring? Yeah, come on. Mm, 
Whoa, check it out. Now this is a giant bird. This is an ostrich. They're the biggest bird in the whole entire world. Whoa, hey. This, yeah, his name is Romeo. Wow, and he is so tall, even taller than me. And did you know ostriches' brains are so small, they're smaller than their eyes. Wow, they must not be very smart, right? Whoa, but they can run so fast. And did you know ostriches can't fly? Wow, who would have known? <laughs> wow, we'll see if Romeo was hungry, shall we? Check it out. Whoa, looks like we have some greeny leaves right here. Whoa, and then some pellets. Here you go. All right, Romeo, here you go. You want some pellets? Huh, maybe, here he comes. Okay, what about some green leaves? Here you go. Okay, here you go, Romeo. No, I guess Romeo's not hungry. <laughs> wow, they take care of their pets so well here. Yeah, a great way to take care of animals is to keep them nice and fed. And since Romeo's not hungry, someone must have fed him earlier. <laughs> Whoa, look, that ostrich was big. Now these birds are medium sized. Whoa, two of these are actually younger ostriches. And then two of these are emus. Yeah, yeah, it's a different type of bird. And they're medium sized. Oh, they look so soft. I wish I could pet them. Wow, is anyone hungry? No, no one's hungry again? Whoa, they're taken care of very well here. Whoa, all right, see you later. <laughs> Woo, oh, that was cool. Whoa. Chickens! Wow! Here you go! Hey, chickens! Hey, chickens! Here you go! Are you hungry? Yeah! These chickens look like they're very hungry! Whoa! What about you? Anyone else? Here you go! Whoa! I actually got special permission to go inside with these chickens! Okay, here, I'll be inside real soon, okay? <laughs> Here you go, birds. Wow, they are so cute. Who's hungry? Anyone hungry? Wow, chickens are so cool. Yeah, look at this one. This one is the color brown, and it sure does love this green leaf. Oh, hey, look at you, little cutie pie. Oh, this one's so small, and it's the color white. Here you go. Whoa, I love taking care of animals. <laughs> yeah, you make sure that they have a lot of water, a lot of food. Oh, whoa, and check that out. It looks like the chicken's home. This is called a chicken coop. I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> whoa, yeah, this is the chicken coop. Wow, they love to hang out in here. Oh, and look at this one, just relaxing. Yeah, I wonder if this one's sitting on some eggs. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Ooh, let me set these down right over here. Whoa, and we heard, yeah, that one of these is really nice. Maybe it will let me pick it up. There you go. Hey, cutie pie. Wow, look at it. Whoa, this is a small chicken. You are so cute. Whoa, do you see it has some red on its face? Yeah, and it's black and white. Okay, I'll set you down, okay? I hope you have a great day. <laughs> Whoa, here you go. Okay, see you later. Oh, let me pick these up and let's keep exploring. Let's see what else we can find here. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun seeing that chicken coop. Yeah. Whoa, check it out. This doesn't look like a chicken coop. This actually looks like where humans live. Yeah, this is called a Pawapiki. Yeah, this is a traditional Brazilian house. Whoa, I'm so curious to see what it's like. Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, it's so cool in here. Yeah, Pawapiki? Yeah, that means clay and wood. Yeah, do you see this? It's made with clay. 
and sticks, tree branches. Whoa, even maybe stumps too. Then you combine it all and it makes the house nice and strong. It is very nice in here. Wow, power peaky house. Wow, what a cool name and what a cool house. Yeah, you can do so much in here without electricity. Power peaky house music party. That was really fun. Well, I should probably put these back where I found them. Oh, hey, check it out. Yeah, this is the stove. How do you make heat if you don't have electricity? Fire. Yeah, you can build a fire, which then you can say boil water and make some nice tea and have a tea party. Yum. <laughs> oh, and look at this. Wow, what a cool device. This you can use to make cheese. Whoa, cheese please. Whoa. It is so cool how people can make so much with no electricity. Whoa. Well, shall I keep exploring the pet zoo? <laughs> Let's go. This has been so much fun today. And do you see what that says? It says farmhouse. Yeah, let's see what lives inside this house. Whoa, whoa, check it out. It looks like we have some animals. Hey, and actually they left me some food to feed them. Whoa, this is gonna be nice. Speaking of nice, wow, what a great farmhouse. Hey, let me put this on. Oh, there we go. All right, hey, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, it looked like a goat. Oh, maybe I can bring them out here so then you can see. Here they come. Hey, goats. Hey, it's me, Blippi. Are you hungry? Oh, there you go. Yum. Whoa. I should probably go inside, right? Whoa. Okay. They gave me special permission to be able to come inside here. Okay. Hey, goats. Whoa. How are you? Whoa, they're so cool. Yeah, it looks like there's whoa, so many. Whoa. Hey, here's one right here. Hey, are you hungry? Whoa, how are you? Oh, you are so cute. Yeah, it's the color white. Ooh, it has a little black on its head and brown. Whoa. And they said this one actually likes to get picked up. Yeah. <laughs> You are so cute. This is a baby goat and it is so soft. And look how big its ears are. I bet they can hear very well. Oh, okay. I'll set you down nice and gently. Here you go. All right, see you later. Whoa, that farmhouse was so cool. I love taking care of all these animals. <laughs> Whoa, speaking of animals. Whoa, look at this. Yeah, hey, 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 looks like a big cow, right? Whoa, <laughs> this is actually a bull. I know it's a bull because of its antlers. Wait a second, it doesn't have antlers, it has horns. Do you see that? The difference between antlers and horns are antlers fall off of the animal. But bulls, they have horns. These stay on the bull its whole life. Whoa, are you hungry? Oh, he's so big. Here you go. You want some food? Whoa, <laughs> I felt his tongue. Oh, you are so cool. And do you see his teeth? Here you go. Whoa, whoa, hey, whoa, can I pet you? Oh, wow, his nose feels so nice. Whoa, what about your head? Oh, do you like pets? Yeah, some animals to take care of them. Yeah, you want to pet them and love them. Ooh, and you can even brush them. Yeah, some animals like pets. Some animals don't like pets. But this bull loves pets, right? Oh, or are you just hungry? Another way to take care of animals. Yeah, give the animals some food. Whoa, Whoa. it's so slobbery. Every time I put my hand, yeah, for food, yeah. He licks it with his tongue. 
and pulls it in. And it gets my hand all slobbery. <laughs> all right, see you later. It was fun taking care of you today. You are so cute. <laughs> Do you like the pets? Oh, are you wagging your tail? Are you cute? Okay, see you later. <laughs> Look right here! Yeah! Remember earlier how I said you have to take care of the pens? Yeah! Looks like someone took care of these pens, made sure it's nice and clean. <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Another animal! Whoa! Ooh, this is a jumento. Here you go. Oh, are you hungry? Wow, doesn't it look like a donkey? Whoa, and the Jumentos. Yeah, their cheese made from their milk is some of the most expensive cheese in the whole wide world. Okay, see you later. Yeah, I heard there's some real donkeys right over here. Wow, Jumentos and donkeys? Yeah, they're related to each other. But these, yeah, they're donkeys. Hey, whoa, are you too hungry? Hey, do you see how big its ears are? Oh, here you go. Oh, do you want a nice snack? What about pets? You like to pet? Did you see how I didn't love to get pet? Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> I don't have to pet you. Or maybe he's just pulling away because he's actually hungry. Yeah, sometimes they might actually really like pets. But right now, maybe this one just wants a bunch of food. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and this one's the color brown. And this one is also the color brown. Hey, ooh, you have some white on your face. Ooh, and I actually heard, yeah, this donkey's name is Juka. Yeah, you know my good friend Juka? Whoa, you two have the same name. Ooh, Juka, you love pets, don't you? You do, you do, do you? <laughs> and you also love food. Here you go. Wow, and their pen looks nice and clean. Wow, you are taken care of very well. I love taking care of animals. <laughs> All right, see you later, Yuka. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Here at Pet Zoo, they even have a playground. Whoa, I do love playing. All right, first thing I should do is probably take off my shoes, right? Oh, will you count my shoes with me? Ready? <laughs> Here's one, all right, and two. One, two, I have two shoes. Okay, let me put it right in here in those cubbies. And now it's time to play. Whoa, look at this. Looks like you climb inside. Whoa, 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 it's pretty wobbly. Whoa, whoa, look at how high I am up here. A big blue slide! I love slides! Okay, here I come! Whoa! Whoa! I got a little stuck! Not the fastest slide, but that's okay! It was still fun! Come on! Whoa, I should probably grab my shoes, but over here, there's another fun thing to do! Come on! Trampoline! Ooh, and it's so colorful! Woohoo! Yeah! I love trampolines! Hey, since we're learning about how to take care of animals today, why don't you guess which animal I'm thinking of? One that really likes to jump. Yeah, it can put its babies in its pouch right here. And you find a lot of them in Australia. Woohoo! Yeah! Look at me! I'm a kangaroo! Will you jump like a kangaroo with me? Woohoo! Yeah! Woo! Boing! 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 <laughs> okay, I have another animal for you to guess. Okay? A lot of them are green around the world, but here in Brazil, yeah! They're so colorful! And they're actually pretty poisonous. And the sound that these animals make is ribbit. Ribbit. Yeah, a frog. And here in Brazil, they even have colorful poison dart frogs. Woohoo! Ribbit, 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 
Oh, frogs are so cool. I've had so much fun today. Whoa. Whoa. I should probably put on my shoes. I think I'm all done playing. All right, here's one shoe. And then here's two shoes. Wow, did you have fun with me? Yeah, I had fun with you too. I really enjoy taking care of animals. And I also love to play. Yeah, whoa, check it out. Some water. I'm still super tired from playing. All that jumping and climbing, yeah, like animals. Oh, it's very important ah, to hydrate. Whoa! Today was so much fun taking care of all those animals. I sure do love animals, and it makes me so happy knowing that you love animals and you take care of all the animals. And if you have pets, you make sure that they're nice and healthy and happy. Oh! Mm. Well, this was so much fun. And if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Please spell my name with me. Ready? <laughs> B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right, see you again. This has been so much fun in Brazil. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and today I'm at Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, Washington. <laughs> I am so excited to learn about penguins. animals. Yeah, these are penguins, and they're actually humble penguins. Oh, they are so cute. Hello. <laughs> these penguins, yeah, their native land is Peru and northern Chile. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a cold place. Those countries are actually really warm. So these penguins live basically in the desert. <laughs> This penguin likes my suspender. Tickles. Hey. Oh, this penguin is so soft. <laughs> yeah, since penguins are birds, they have a lot of feathers, and these feathers are really small and dense on its body. Oh, hey, cutie. <laughs> and do you see its wings? Yeah, its wings actually are more like flippers because then they can swim super fast in the water. And actually, penguins actually can't even fly with their wings. That's okay, because you're a really good swimmer. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Do you see how this penguin doesn't have stripes? Yeah, there's just teeny little black dots. Hey, and the one right behind it, yeah, there's those big black stripes. That one is an adult. So front one is a child, and the back one is an adult. Whoa, hey! <laughs> They're almost the same size, though. <laughs> How are you? Are you having a good day? Because <laughs> I sure am. <laughs> Whoa, do you see these penguins? Yeah. They look like cute pets, don't they? Yeah, but they're actually not. Penguins don't make good pets. Although they're nice, yeah, they're living at this zoo so we can take care of them and we can learn about them. And the more we learn about these cute, humble penguins, the better we can take care of their cousins around the world. <laughs> Whoa, penguins? Yeah. We're behind the scenes at the aquarium and we're gonna meet some penguins, come on. Okay, let's walk nice and slow and we'll be very quiet as well. Ooh. Hey, who are you? Hutch. Ooh, this is Hutch. Hey, and what do you do here? I work with the penguins and reptiles. Ooh, the penguins and the reptiles. Oh, do you see the penguins back there? Oh, hello. Are these your only two penguins here? Oh, no, we have more friends that are coming. 
you like to grab a toy? We're actually going to play with them. Sure. Okay, let's grab a toy. And let's see some more penguins. Look over there. movement with their toys. So we have Violet that has already come over to say hi. It, it looks like it's enjoying my shadow, huh? That does happen. So penguins really like contrasting colors. They also can see colors really well. They have rods and cones in their eyes just like we do. Okay. They're kind of, although they're birds, they're kind of acting like kitty cats, huh? Just a little bit. They do like to play with a lot of different types of toys. And, just like kitty cats, they tell us when they want to be touched. Okay. Huh. Interesting. This is pretty cool. Hey, get a closer look. Oh, bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> penguins are so silly. So where are these penguins from? These penguins are from South Africa. And we have 32 of them here. 32 penguins here. And these are from South Africa? Wait. Not Antarctica? Not Antarctica. There are actually one of several species of penguins that prefer the warm climate. Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Interesting. Warm climate and penguins. I guess you learn something every day. <laughs> okay, let's take a seat right over here. And then Hutch is going to bring a penguin over. <laughs> I'm so excited. I get to touch a penguin. Ooh, hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to touch the penguin with two fingers gently on its back. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. It felt so soft. Did you know penguins have 70 feathers per square inch? Yeah, they're really small and really dense. Can I touch the again, Hutch? Yes, you can. Okay. Does that feel good? You like that? She's showing off for you. What does that mean when she shakes her head? So that means she's really happy, uh, and you might be her new boyfriend. Ooh. <laughs> I hope she doesn't want to kiss. <laughs> Guys, we're getting ready to feed the penguins today. So we have some of their favorite fish. These are called ocean smell, also known as silver sides, because they have that silver stripe on their side. And I have herring, it's silver like an anchovy and sardines, just like they eat in the wild. Okay, you guys ready to eat? See who's hungry. I'm gonna try and feed the penguins. <laughs> All right. Whoa! Look at these fish. Whoa! If I was a penguin, I would sure want to eat this. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Oh! <laughs> Here you go, penguin. Here's another one. Hey, there you go. Oh! <laughs> that one must be really hungry. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Alright, so these fish are a lot smaller. Here you go. Oh, perfect. You want another one? <laughs> Here's another one. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, penguins. Here you 
here you go. Oh, <laughs> here you go. Oh, you're hungry. <laughs> yeah, fish are nice and healthy for these penguins. Ah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, just like how we eat fruits and vegetables. Yeah, they love fish. <laughs> um, how about you? You haven't had one. Oh, whoa. There's so many penguins that want food. <laughs> there you go. Oh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> All right, there you go. That one right here is so hungry. <laughs> they have gotten so many of the fish. Oh, here you go. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> okay, penguins, get ready. Well, it sure has been a lot of fun learning about penguins with you. But this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Flippy. Good job. All right. See you again. <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, we're here at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park in Escondido, California. <laughs> yeah! Hey, do you know what a safari is? <laughs> yeah, it's an outdoor adventure where you can see all kinds of amazing animals. <laughs> and today is a really special day because we're going to search for a platypus. Yeah, this is the only place that you can see a platypus outside of Australia. <gasps> I am so excited. Come on. <laughs> Whoa. I am so excited to go on a wildlife safari. <gasps> and we get to ride in this amazing vehicle. It's called a caravan. <laughs> Whoa. Look at it. It has really big tires and wheels and shocks. <laughs> yeah, that's so if we hit any bumps or holes in the ground, we'll be nice and smooth riding on the back. <laughs> oh, and it's Karen, the driver. Hi, Karen. <laughs> Whoa, and look, there are so many amazing things on a caravan. We have gas tanks and <laughs> a barrel for water. Whoa, and look at this. It's the back of the caravan. <laughs> yeah, this, this right here, that's where we're gonna sit. So let's go sit inside. <laughs> oh, it's a person. Let's go say hi. Hi. Hi, Blippi. It's me, Blippi. <laughs> um, what's your name? Oh, my name's Marco. I'm a wildlife care specialist here at the Safari Park. Oh, it's nice to meet you, Marco. Well, we are really excited to go on a safari. All right. Can we sit inside? Yeah, definitely, let's go. <laughs> Let's follow Marco. <laughs> Whoa, look at this place. There is a canopy over our heads. Yeah, so keep us dry and away from the sun. And so many seats. Woo. <laughs> We're ready for a safari. All right, we're almost there. Actually, all you need is special safari gear. And look, we got some for you right here. Oh, look at that. Special safari gear? Whoa! Safari gear is so much fun. <laughs> Look, we have binoculars. Oh, we're seeing really far away. Woo! <laughs> and uh, we have a hat to keep the sun out of our eyes. <laughs> oh, 
And don't forget to drink lots of water. <laughs> okay, it looks like we're all geared up and ready for the safari. <laughs> all right, excellent. You look great. All right, Karen, we're ready to go. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Do <laughs> you see what kind of animal this is? <laughs> oh, they are giraffes! <laughs> and they are so cute! <laughs> oh, it is so much fun being on a safari! <laughs> hmm. Do you see that one giraffe? Look, it's really small! Huh. Hmm. Marco, why is that one giraffe so much smaller than the others? You know, that giraffe, Lippy, is actually one of our newest babies. She's 16 days old. Whoa! Ooh, it really is a baby. <laughs> How tall is the giraffe? Oh, well, you know, they can grow throughout their lifetime, actually. So she is about six feet at the moment, but she's going to keep growing. This is the tallest mammal on planet Earth. Whoa! <laughs> this baby giraffe is a baby, but it's as tall as me. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. <laughs> wow, they're so, so pretty. And so tall. <laughs> hey, it looks like they have these little things on their head. <laughs> it looks like hair or little horns. What are those? Yeah, actually, they're called ossicones, actually. Ossicones? Whoa, <laughs> that's a really cool word. What's an ossicone? I think of it sort of like, like horns for a giraffe, basically. Oh, wow, those ossicones are. Pretty cool. <laughs> oh, they're so cool. Do you see what colors they are? Yeah, it looks like they're a golden brown and white. <laughs> yeah, they have a really interesting pattern all over them. <laughs> oh, hmm. hmm. It also looks like they have big ears. Can giraffes hear really well? They do, they hear very, very well. And eyesight's pretty amazing too. You know, there's other predators out there where they mm -hmm. live, so they gotta watch out. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. They can hear really well and see all over the safari. Oh, <laughs> I think giraffes are so amazing. <laughs> oh, hello giraffe. <laughs> oh, look, that giraffe, he's looking at us. I think he's just checking us out. Oh, he's saying, hi, Blippi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Whoa, they also have funny looking mouths. What kind of food does a giraffe eat? You know, they love leaves, plant material, especially having such a long neck, eating all the plants at the very tops of the trees. Oh, huh, that makes sense. Yeah, giraffes are really tall with really long necks, so they can eat the tops of trees. <laughs> wow, giraffes sure are pretty amazing. Hmm, but they're not a platypus. Hmm, let's keep looking for some other amazing animals. Maybe we'll find a platypus. <laughs> Whoa. You won't believe what really cool animal Marco and I found on our safari. Come look. Whoa, <laughs> look at him. What kind of animal is this? Oh, these are called fringe-eared oryx. Whoa, fringe-eared oryx. Never heard of an animal like that before. Whoa, do you see? They have really big horns on their head. Kind of like a unicorn, but instead of one horn, they have one, two horns. <laughs> wow, they're amazing. Oh, whoa. And look, they have kind of funny markings on their face. They do. Yeah, right now, we think that's actually to help them ward off predators out there. It's almost like having a permanent Halloween mask. Whoa, <laughs> sounds spooky. Ooh. <laughs> wow, Ooh, they're so cool. And they're, they're pretty big. Can, can these orcs run fast? Oh, they can run very fast. I mean, they need to to get away from predators. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, just a family of orcs. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, and do you see? Their ears are so funny. They have dots in the middle of their ears. Whoa, <laughs> it looks like an eye. 
That's a really good observation. That's what we think they have them for, to help confuse predators out there so they can't sneak up and surprise them. Whoa, these orcs look really smart. That is so cool. Huh. Well, <laughs> they're just hanging out, being friendly. <laughs> well, it was nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> These orcs were really interesting, but they're still not a platypus. <laughs> Let's keep looking. Blippi, come look at these guys. Oh, okay. Whoa, look at what animal Marco found. Whoa, <laughs> they're so big. <laughs> Marco, what kind of animal is this? Uh, you're looking at a southern white rhino. Wow, a southern white rhino. <laughs> you see, look, they have really big horns. Whoa. <laughs> Why does a rhino like this have a big horn? Yeah, those horns help them protect themselves out there in Africa against all those predators out there. Wow, it is so cool and so big. <laughs> Whoa, and look, look, they have really teeny tiny eyes, but they have really big noses. <laughs> hmm, I bet that means they have a really good sense of smell. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're absolutely right, Philippi. That's a good observation. You know, these animals, excellent sense of smell, really, really good hearing as well. You see how those ears can move around all about so they can always hear what's going on around them. Wow, that is amazing. <laughs> Their ears are so fuzzy. Whoa, <laughs> look, you see all the little hairs and fuzzy parts? <laughs> Rhinos are so cute. Oh, and so hungry. Oh. Do they like to eat anything else other than hay? Oh, they love the all sorts of plant material. They love grass. And these guys can weigh three to 4,000 pounds, sometimes even more. So they gotta eat all that food. Whoa, three to 4,000 pounds? <laughs> That's a lot of hay. <laughs> hey, <laughs> wow. They sure do like eating. Yeah, and they are really big. <laughs> hey, do you know what color these rhinos are? Yeah. They're the color gray. <laughs> I bet they stay cool because is there dirt on their backs? That's absolutely right. Yeah, they love to wallow out there, get some mud on their backs. It helps <laughs> with sunblock like that safari hat you were wearing. They don't need the hat, they got their mud. Wow, it's so amazing. Yeah, they roll around in the dirt and they stay cool. Yeah, get dirt, dust on their back. Kind of like my official safari hat. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Well, I think we should see some more animals, Marco. Yeah, I think you're right. These rhinos, they're not platypuses. Mm -mm. <laughs> Thanks, Marco, for taking us on an awesome safari. <laughs> yeah, no problem, let's go see some more animals. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Whew, looking for a platypus is hard work. I've been running so fast. Hey. Do you know what other animal likes to run really fast? <laughs> yeah, a cheetah likes to run really fast. They are the fastest land animal and they can run up to 70 miles per hour <laughs> and reach speeds of 40 miles per hour in three steps. Whoa. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. How about I race a cheetah? <laughs> yeah, let's see who will win the race. <laughs> Whoa! Did you see how fast that cheetah was? <laughs> it was amazing. Well, better keep looking for this platypus. So excited to see this snake. What kind of snake is this? This is called a Burmese python. Whoa, this Burmese python is so big. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> what's its name? This is Julius Squeezer. Julius Squeezer, <laughs> so silly. That's a cool name. Whoa, 
this snake is amazing. And look, it has this really pretty pattern with all types of different shades of brown and white and gold. <laughs> Why is it colored like this? Yeah, well, this helps him get his food up in the wild. So this is what we call a sit and wait predator. So that's exactly what he did. As he sits, he blends in with all the leaf litter and just waits until something yummy walks by and then he got stuck for that day. Ooh, <laughs> wow, that is so cool. Hmm. Oh, Julia Squeezer, <laughs> how's it going? Hello. Whoa. Hey, it looks like he's looking at us now. <laughs> Whoa, he keeps poking his tongue out. Why is Julia Squeezer doing that? <laughs> you know, he's actually tasting the air. So he has an organ in his mouth called the Jacobson's organ, which helps him actually detect prey. So he can pick up set particles in the air to help follow his prey out there. Whoa, that is really amazing. <laughs> it sure would be silly if I was walking around with my tongue out. <laughs> I'm not a snake. <laughs> Whoa, but this snake is so cool. Hmm. Huh. What type of snake is this? A Burmese python. And you know, the differences between the python and the boa, sometimes people get them confused. Oh, yeah. yeah. Python and boa. Yeah. Whoa, what's the difference between a python and a boa? Oh, that's a great question, Blippi. You know, pythons are generally found in the old world, so Asia, Africa, Australia, Ooh. plus they lay eggs. Now the boa can be found in the old world and the new world, but what boas do instead, they carry their eggs inside of them. So people tend to call it a live birth, but really they're just keeping their eggs inside. <laughs> Whoa, hello. <laughs> wow, Julia Squeezer is so friendly. He keeps saying hello. <laughs> wow, snakes are so amazing. They're so good at moving, even though they don't have any arms or legs. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, hello. <laughs> oh. I'd like to give you a hug, but I feel like they have really powerful hugs. <laughs> they really do. Yeah, this predator is a constrictor. So he mm -hmm. just holds his prey super, super tight. And that's a, a good thing you noted too, actually, Blippi. You know, these animals, uh, Julius, he's an ambassador. He represents his wild brothers and sisters. But we definitely want the kids out there to know you don't want to be handling a wild snake like this. We are trained professionals here at the safari park. <laughs> Yeah, you don't want to be handling a snake like this without a professional wildlife care specialist. <laughs> like my good friend Marco. Oh, <laughs> but he sure is beautiful. Wow. Hello. <laughs> he likes my shoe quite a bit. <laughs> he does. <laughs> What's well, a pretty nice shoe, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Well, thanks so much for saying hello, Julia Squeezer. Bye bye. <laughs> Hey, what other animals will we be able to see today? Oh, next we're gonna show you one of my favorite birds, the fastest animal on planet Earth. Oh, the fastest animal alive? Oh, I can't wait to see it. <laughs> okay, let's go see. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to see the next animal ambassador. <laughs> We saw so many amazing animals. Uh, what animal are we gonna see next? One of my favorites, his name is Nelson, called the Lanner Falcon. Ooh, Nelson, and he's a falcon. <laughs> wow, does he fly in the air and he's, he, is he pretty fast? Oh, very fast. They broke the record fastest animal on the planet over 240 miles per hour. And today I'm gonna be sharing with you a hunting flight. Wow, I can't wait to see the hunting flight. 240 miles per hour, that's faster than a car. Okay, I think we're all ready to see the hunting flight. All right. Okay, keep your eyes open for Nelson. <laughs> this is so exciting. Oh. oh, look, Marco is swinging around some meat. Okay. Nelson, good boy. Good. Good. Whoa, did you see that? Nelson caught the meat midair. That's pretty amazing. Hey, let's go take a closer look. <laughs> wow, I am so excited to see Nelson up close. Birds, they're pretty amazing. And this bird is so powerful and so fast. 
Whoa. <sighs> so beautiful. Well, right now we want to wait because Nelson is finishing up his meal. <laughs> but we'll be able to see him real soon. <laughs> oh, look. Yeah. He's on Marco's glove. Yeah, that glove helps to protect his hand because Nelson has really sharp, powerful talons. <laughs> Whoa, look, Marco's coming this way. We should go say hi. We need to be careful. We don't want to scare Nelson. Mm -mm. <laughs> He's just finishing his food right now. Whoa. <laughs> get him a little closer for you, but so that was just an example of the amazing hunting flight that they do out there. Hmm. Wow, Nelson is a really amazing bird. Oh, he's so beautiful. <laughs> His eyes look so big. Can he see really well? well? They see so well. He can see over a mile away, especially when you're flying in the air. That's a really good tool to have. Wow. That is one amazing bird. <laughs> well, we better let Nelson finish his lunch. <laughs> hey, maybe we can see some more birds. Yeah, that sounds great, Bopi. I'll see you there. OK, I'll see you soon. Oh, that was amazing. We saw so many different ambassador animals. And now we get to see even more birds. <laughs> let's go meet up with Marco. OK, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. We're still looking for a platypus. But <laughs> Nelson was such an amazing animal, I want to see what other birds Marco works with. <laughs> oh, hey, and there's Marco. Hi, Marco. <laughs> hey, Blippi. Marco, what other animals do you have to show us today? Uh, well, I want to show you more raptors, just like Nelson, but he hunts in a different way, which I'm going to show you right now. OK, <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Oh, I can't wait to see this bird. was amazing! Marco, what kind of animal was that? Oh, that was a secretary bird. So just like Nelson, the lantern falcon, both found in Africa and both raptors, but they hunt in a very different way. So I'm so happy to share that with you. And not only that, he's a pretty big raptor, but raptors come in all different shapes and sizes. So we have another one we're gonna show you right now. Follow me this way. Okay. Whoa, I wonder what bird we'll see next. <laughs> that bird was so big. <laughs> come on. Hmm. Keep your eyes out for another bird. <laughs> oh, look at this. Hello. Hi. Whoa, that last bird was so big. But this looks like a really teeny tiny owl. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, what kind of owl is this? She is called an Eastern Screech Owl. Wow. This owl is so tiny. <laughs> Who would have thought? There are really big birds and really small birds. Whoa, her feathers are so amazing and beautiful. Hmm, do these feathers remind you of another animal we saw today? <laughs> yeah, just like the snake. Yeah, look, hmm. this little owl has camouflage feathers so she can blend in with the tree. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> What's this owl's name? Her name is Rue. Whoa. Hi, Rue. <laughs> You're so cute. Whoa. Her eyes are really big. <laughs> Why's that? Right? So she is a nocturnal predator. That means she hunts at night. So she's going to use those really big eyeballs to help her see really well at nighttime, help her catch her little prey item. Whoa. You remember that word? Yeah. Nocturnal. That means they're not awake in the day like us, but they're awake at night. <laughs> wow, Rue is so amazing. <laughs> well, all the birds we've learned about really like eating meat. Do all birds eat meat? Actually, no, Blippi. We have some animals that are omnivores that like eating 
two different things, meat and plant material. And we got one to share with you right now. Oh, wow, yes. that's amazing. An omnivore eats meat like a carnivore and eats vegetables and plants like an herbivore. Whew, that's a lot of big words. <laughs> but let's go see this bird Marco has. Come on. All right, let's go. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa. Look at it. This bird is so big <laughs> and colorful. Whoa! Hello! <laughs> wow! Oh, what kind of bird is this? This is a West African or East African gray crown crane. And you can see that by the gray on the side of her body here. Whoa! Uh, West African? Whoa! Wait, can you see that? <laughs> oh, yeah! East African gray crown crane. East African gray crown crane? <laughs> That's a really long name, <laughs> but a really beautiful bird deserves a really cool, beautiful name. <laughs> Whoa, and what's that on their head? It looks like spikes, like an echidna. <laughs> yeah, you actually, a lot of people think that, but you know, those are actually tightly woven feathers, so they're not sharp at all. Just like that big, beautiful wingspan, every feather is modified for very specific things. She has feathers for flying, she's got feathers to keep her warm, she's even got feathers to attract the mate. But those feathers, it's a good symbol that she's an adult crown crane. Wow, <laughs> a grown-up. <laughs> Whoa, does this crown crane have a family? She does have a family. They're very social animals, and she is like the other ambassadors we talked about for her wild brothers and sisters. So we're part of her flock here at the bird show in the bird department, and she helps connect people with wildlife. Wow, these birds are so amazing. <laughs> Thanks for sharing so many amazing animals with us. <laughs> Thanks, Marco. Yeah, no problem, Blippi. I'll see you later. All right. <laughs> Whoa, look at where we are. It feels like we're in the jungle. <laughs> hmm, I wonder what kind of animal lives here. Hmm, that's not a platypus. <laughs> Whoa, you see what kind of animal that is? It's a Sumatran tiger. Yeah, they are really big cats that are really powerful. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, look, he's coming this way. Hello. <laughs> This tiger's name is Rakan. <laughs> and it looks like he's getting ready for lunch. Yeah, tigers, they love to eat. They like to eat meat because they're carnivores. Mm -hmm. Carnivores, that means an animal that likes to eat meat. And they have a really big teeth that help them do it. Front teeth, ah, they grab onto their food and back teeth that help chew the food. <laughs> Boo. It's really good to chew up your food, especially if it's healthy food. <laughs> well, maybe he's not gonna eat lunch today. He's probably feeling a little bit sleepy and having just a lazy day relaxing in his habitat. <laughs> it sure looks like fun to be a tiger. <laughs> Whoa, look at him walk. Whoa. <laughs> He was moving really fast. <laughs> wow, <laughs> it is so fun seeing so many amazing animals. <laughs> but we still need to find the platypus. <laughs> We're gonna find him, I just know it. Look at who I have here. This is B, <laughs> and B is my friend. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, B is a Bennett's wallaby. Yeah, a wallaby. Wallaby's kind of like a small kangaroo, and she loves tasty treats. She's eating some tasty leaves. It's called Gruya. Ooh, <laughs> she is so happy. Whoa, <laughs> look. Wallabies and kangaroos, look, they have really big feet and they love treats. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh <laughs> that was a treat. <laughs> yeah, look, really big feet and a really big toe. 
Yeah, you have three toes. One, two, three. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> she's having fun eating these leaves. Hey, look, do you see right here? She has some really big teeth. She has two top teeth and two bottom teeth that are really big incisors. <laughs> so she can grab the gruya and tear it off and munch it up. <laughs> Ooh, she's so cute. I think she had a lot of that, so maybe we can give her some sweet potato. <laughs> yeah, wallabies, they're herbivores, which means they really like leafy greens and sweet potatoes. Whoa! <laughs> You want a sweet potato? Mm. Do you want some lettuce? <gasps> mm. Took a little nibble. <laughs> I think she wants some treats. <laughs> okay, I'll give her another treat because she's being so good. <laughs> Whoa, do you see this? Look, B has a really big tail. Hey, B. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? Yeah, B likes to hop. <laughs> Ooh, there's a treat. <laughs> I like to hop too. Hey, let's hop like a wallaby. Whoop. <laughs> Whoop. Hey, B, do you want another treat? Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wallabies are amazing animals. Yeah. And they're marsupials, <laughs> which means they have a pouch. Whoa, <laughs> that is so cool. Well, maybe we can see if we can find a kangaroo. They gotta be around here somewhere. Let's go. <laughs> hey, whoa, look at what it is. They're Western gray kangaroos. <laughs> yeah, they're just like me, the wallaby, except they're not wallabies, <laughs> they're kangaroos. <laughs> They're both marsupials, but kangaroos are a lot bigger than a wallaby. <laughs> Whoa, let's go see if they want to nibble on some gruya. Come on. Hello. <laughs> hey, do you want a tasty treat? Some Gruya. Hey, isn't this really yummy? You want some of this? Whoa. Maybe they want some hibiscus leaves. Oh, <laughs> they really like hibiscus leaves. Whoa, look at them. Whoa, these kangaroos are a lot bigger. Yeah. You see their ears? Their ears are so big, so they can hear really well. <laughs> and look, their feet are even bigger than bees. Yeah, a kangaroo is so much bigger and their feet are so much stronger that they can go up to 30 miles per hour. Whoa, that's really fast. <laughs> hey, maybe they want some lettuce. Whoa, yeah, or maybe, hmm. Well, we don't want to get too close because they don't like if we get too close. <laughs> hey, look, a little sweet potato. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> did you see their teeth? <laughs> really good for munching on sweet potatoes. <laughs> Whoa, they're so cute and cuddly. Hey, and do you notice something? Look, it's the pouch. Yeah, it's the kangaroo pouch right by their legs, <laughs> whoa. And that's where little joeys, <laughs> baby kangaroos, like to hang out. Yeah, they grow up in the pouch, whoa. <laughs> I think I'm gonna give them some more treats. Hey, there's a lettuce. <laughs> whoa, isn't that so yummy? <laughs> Really yummy. And healthy. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that 
was so much fun getting to see some western gray kangaroos. <laughs> well, we still haven't found our platypus yet. Maybe we can keep looking and we'll find the platypus. <laughs> let's, let's go hop to find the platypus, like a kangaroo. <laughs> Look at this place. <laughs> I wonder what kind of animal lives here. Let's find out. Oh, unique and elusive. Hmm. <laughs> that means whatever animal lives here is really special. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Hmm. This animal has a bill like a duck and lays eggs. Hmm has the body of an otter and the tail like a beaver. Hmm. <gasps> it's a platypus. <laughs> yeah. We found where the platypus lives. Whoa. It's really dark, but I know we can find it. Come on. Whoa. We found the platypus. <laughs> Look at him swimming around. His bill looks just like a duck. Ooh, <laughs> and his body like a little otter. Whoa! And look at his tail. It looks just like a beaver's tail. <laughs> so cool! Oh, look! He's swimming under a log. <laughs> he loves to swim. Ooh, hello! Ooh, ooh, we made it outside! That was amazing. We got to see the platypus swimming around. <laughs> we did it. Thanks for helping me find him. <laughs> okay, I'll see you around. <laughs> I had so much fun going on a safari with you. We saw so many amazing animals. Hey, what was your favorite animal we saw today? <laughs> I like that one too. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Hey, will you spell my name with me? <laughs> okay, here we go. B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. Well, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Come on, everyone. Let's make money. Learn about it'll make you want to shout Whippy!